Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be going over how to use Mango Languages on the Nantucket Athenaeum website. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Okay, let's see. Okay, can everyone see the Nantucket Athenaeum website? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is just our homepage, nantucketathenaeum.org. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down. Now you're going to reach uh, browse our e-library. The other way to get to this is if you go to um, find books, movies, you can also click here and it'll bring you to the same place. What are you clicking on? Oh, e-library. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to scroll down um, and we're going to go to e-learning. Um, oh, okay. This is not what I thought it would be. You're okay. It's, oh boy. Okay. Okay. There we are. So we're right. in the e-learning page and when you scroll down, you're going to still see these icons. You can toggle back and forth, but you're going to see the, uh, what we have available for learning. Um, and today we're going to work on mango languages. So it's to learn a second or third or fourth or fifth language. And I'm going to open that up. Question? What yes. What was that Linda thing? Uh, we're Linda? going to do that a different day, Jackie. What was it though? Is it about books or what is it? it no, it's, um, it's online courses. Oh, okay. That's all I needed to know. Okay. Thanks. Okay. So, uh, so I've clicked into this. And as I said, I, I thought I'd start learning Spanish. So I'm going to actually go ahead and log out so you can see what it looks like from for logging in the first time. And so because I already have um, a login, I can go ahead and punch that in. But if you don't, you can go here and you're going to sign up. And all you have to do is put your email address, your card number, and you'll create a password and you're good to go. So I'm going to go back to this window. I'm going to punch in my login information. Oops. Let me get to this. Okay. So it's picking up where I left off, but where you'll end up the first time is on this page. And it's where you can choose your languages. So these are recent languages I worked on. Um, and then, oops, I have to to go Japanese Ooh. yeah so there's all types for some reason it's not let me move you guys over a different location um, I should be able to scroll down but it's not mm -hmm. scrolling for some reason let's go over here so um, uh, you'd be able to scroll down to different oh there we go uh, so, I mean, there's just tons of languages. Wow. Wow. It goes on and on oh, wow. and on and on. I know. It's just amazing. So, um, so anyway, so I'm going to go back to Spanish just for example purposes, uh, for this purpose. And um, I'm going to pick, so what it does is you can pick up where you left off. So if you start to, um, oops, what is happening? Okay. So this is going to pick up where I left off. So I've done a couple of these already. And what's interesting about these is that it's a little more than Duolingo and other um, uh, uh, software I've tried. So you can tap to continue. And so it'll tell you got conversational goals, what you're going to be working on, grammar goals. Um, and then you can just start digging Listen in. Listen to the following conversation. By the end of this chapter, you'll be ready to have conversations like this one. Hola. Me llamo María. ¿Cómo se llama usted? Me llamo Tom. Es un gusto conocer. Now, can you guys hear my keyboard? Yes. Tom. Yep. Great. Yo soy enfermera y mi esposo es policía. ¿Qué hace usted? Yo soy comerciante. ¿Y quién es su esposo? Él es mi esposo, Carlos. Okay. One way to say, what is your name? Is, ¿cómo se llama usted? But you are literally saying, how do you call yourself? 
Okay. So could people hear that yeah. audio? Yeah. Okay, great. So what's interesting about this, I kind of skipped over the conversation because it was going on and on, but um, so you can replay it and it gives you phonetically how to say it. Mm -hmm. And then here you can actually do voice comparison. Wow. So um, my Spanish is terrible, so bear with me. Como se llama usted? Okay. Uh, oh, wow. Como se llama usted? And what it does, you drag this over mm -hmm. and oh, you can wow. compare the two. Como se llama usted? That's so cool. <laughs> if you are really trying to pick up on the language oh, and then you can record it over and over again and really, if you really want the um, correct accent and intonation, that's one way you can practice. Um, yeah. And then the lessons now, just learn. go on and on and on. Is a reflexive verb. Now let's um, learn how okay, to say. So I'm going to go back to call oneself. Okay, that so, is so cool. Isn't it? Yeah, it's it really is. cool. And okay, so these lessons go on and on in grammar. And I know a few people said, uh, you know, you might be more advanced, so you can go through these as you want. I don't think it's a system where you have to unlock the next lesson. I think you can just start. Let's find out, actually. Yeah, so I can just pick up anywhere. You're not limited to, you don't have to work your way through the lessons. Or Cooking and eating, yum. Yeah, <laughs> um, and then down here, they have specialty units. So awesome. romance. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So if you're going to Italy and you want to meet a man. Um, <laughs> but, not and not I thought today. like, <laughs> this is interesting because you know, you might not be English speaking learning a different language you might be speak a different language and want to learn english and for people coming here to nantucket that want to start a business this might be valuable like learning the jargon of a particular um you know specialty so yeah so there's a lot in here i haven't explored all these different ones but it does seem like you can jump around so jackie to answer wow. your question if you're more advanced you can um skip ahead you don't have to start at the very beginning and so one more question. If a second language speaker to the United States was to come, say my main language was Spanish. Mm -hmm. This is teaching in English Spanish. Is there any place where I can be a Spanish speaker so that I don't have to understand, you know? Um, let's find- I think English that. was a language. Yeah, so you could speak English. What is your mother? Yeah, so- Oh, there you go. Yeah, so did you see how I did that? So. No. You at yeah. any point, I'm going to show you a couple other tools, but at any point, this is the language you're working on. And I think the assumption is you're uh, sp learn you speak English and you're learning different language. But if you click on this, Would it you, takes you back to your languages. What did you click on, actually? I didn't see it. It's up at the top corner. Can you oh, see my mouse moving it. around? Okay. So you can click on that little icon. Pyramid. And it opens this up. And then um, if you want to learn, once you click on learn English, it asks you what it. your mother tongue is. Oh, this is amazing. So all this would be available wow. in Bengali, I guess, Cantonese, all kinds of languages. Awesome. You could start there and then learn English. Who makes this? I know. Uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't know. Um, let's see. Organizations. Oh, here's another feature. So that's kind of the basic learning a language, how to select your language, what language you want to learn and going through the lessons. And like I said, it will, it will remember what you did. So when you come back, you don't have to remember where you left off. And then this is just your profile information. If you want to change your password. Where, um, are, this, you? where are you? Uh, I'm over uh, up here. Do you see my Oh, mouth? I see. I have my pictures are on top of that thank you okay so my mouse is in the top right corner got it that's I see my it. login and mm -hmm. then if you just hover over it the drop down comes down so okay. you have your profile this is just your name and uh, like i said if you want to change your password organizations that just has to do which library you're connected to um this is kind of interesting so if your family like say Barbara and Mark are going to be traveling and one wants to start with Russian and one wants to start with Spanish, you can add 
um, profiles. So you can have one account, but uh -huh. add a new profile. Um, almost like Netflix, like you can have two different profiles in it. So you have different movie tastes. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Okay. And then activity, I haven't done a whole lot. So my activity is probably going to be nothing, but let's see. Um, oh yeah. So it shows like the exercises I've done. And I think this would be relevant if you were teaching and you just wanted evidence or um, if someone was sponsoring you to learn a language through work or whatever, you could show them your work, like what you've done. It's just a record of it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go back to learn. Okay, so this is where we were before. Um, and then I wanna show you tools. Oh, actually, why don't I just open up the group? Does anyone have any questions? No. No? no? Okay. Um, so up here, I'm going to show you tools first. This is pretty cool. And this could be used just uh, um, for simple purposes. You can translate. So I love libraries. And I want to do it from English to African and you click translate. Ek is mal or biblioteke. Um, so it's Google, just a good- Google Translate is awesome on your phone for this. When we travel, we often hold our phone to someone who's speaking, like especially in a pharmacy or something. And as soon as they talk it, it instantly translates it to English. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Cool, okay, yeah. And this is something similar. Um, okay. Now this next thing I'm going to show you, I'll be honest, Amy and I had a, a little bit of trouble making it work, but it's so cool. I don't want to not show it to you. Um, so where I just went was into explore and what they have in here is films selected from around the world that are selected because they would be good to practice oh, your language. Oh, great. So Wow. The caveat is I had to download Flash. It took a couple tries to get this going, but I just don't want to not show it to you because it's really, really cool. Janet, so wait, once wait, wait. Janet, you're in Explore. You just clicked Explore and you Yeah, got I just clicked there. Explore okay. and it brought me here, Mango Premiere. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, and once again, at any point, if you want to switch languages, you just go up to this top left-hand corner and click on that icon and you can pick a new language. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm scrolling over. I already previewed a film that I just picked. So what you do is you pick a film. Um, let's see. Okay, this better work. It worked last night. Okay, so I'm going to open this. So when you click on the film, this window is going to pop up. And what you have is two choices. Um, and I will say, this is where I reached a stumbling block. And there was a pop-up saying you needed to download Flash. Mm -hmm. And the, what I did was I clicked download, I downloaded Flash, um, and I had to restart my computer and then log back in to this. So just be aware of that. And it did not work for Chrome. It worked for Safari, it did not work for Chrome. Oh, so depending on the browser you're using, mm -hmm. you may need to switch browsers. Or I think it would work for Firefox. I do so get it. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Janet, if you're in Safari or Firefox, you wouldn't have to download Flash? No, you do have to. You if, you're have in, to. Okay. if you're in Chrome, it won't work at all. Right. Because Chrome does not support Flash, which is okay. just this little plugin. Okay. And I, I, do know, I do know that Safari is um, not going to support Flash at the end of this year. Uh, okay. So I don't know. Well, in the meantime, <laughs> We'll see if Firefox does. They might, and then if that's the case, maybe Mango will, you know, find a different way to do this. That's not something I'm super knowledgeable in, but I imagine if they want to stay in business, they'll so find Jenny, it. So, in order to get into any of these movies, you have to do Flash. Yes, correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So, so now you're in. You've downloaded Flash. You've restarted. You're you're here. You have two cho choices. So you can watch in movie mode, which is just watching the movie, 
or you can watch it in engaged mo mode. And this is what I want to show you. So you, I've picked that, it's highlighted. I'm going to go next. So the next thing is to choose your subtitles. Excuse me. So your options are English, Spanish, which is the language you're learning, both, and I'll show you how they appear on the screen, or you can shut them off completely. So you have lots of options, and I'll show you how you can switch this um, later on if you want to. Um, you don't have to come back here. So I'm gonna choose both, and I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the tour because I'm gonna take you on my own tour. So what you have up here, is the phases you're gonna go through. So what they've done is they've broken this film down into scenes. Oh. And then, so what you have here is the scene introduction. So my French got to a point where it was pretty good. If someone gave me a heads up on what was gonna happen in the scene, I was able to follow the dialogue. So that's what they're doing. They're doing it in Spanish and in English. They say Jorgito and his friends play in the street, pretending, not to, pretending to defend Cuba from the Spaniards. And then Malu interrupts their game and insists that she's the queen of Spain. <laughs> Jorjito and Malu's mother scold them for playing with each other and we can feel the tension between the two families. Malu overhears her mother talking about leaving Cuba. Wow. Um, and then what you have here are words you might encounter. So wow. all this vocabulary. And then this is really cool to me they give you some cultural notes. So they, they explain some of the cultural references because it's not just about learning the language, it's about understanding the culture and the nuances. Um, so yeah, so that's- That's um, so cool. The introduction, yeah. yeah. And then, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and play the scene. I'm gonna stop it at some point, but I'll go ahead and, and just play the scene. And I hope this works. Okay. Now at any point, I can change my subtitles. I can switch to English, Spanish, both or off. Thank <laughs> you. 
juego se acabó. Ya eh, cambiaste de juego. Este juego me va a estar. ¿Sí? ¿Y nosotros? Mis esclavos. No, 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 luchando contra los españoles para que tú vengas a la reina de España. Y nosotros, tus esclavos, no vamos a luchar. Siempre es lo mismo. Cada vez que quieres jugar a algo, mira, si vamos a jugar a las casitas, tú quieres ser la mamá. Si vamos a jugar a los enfermos, tú quieres ser la doctora. Tú siempre tienes que hacer lo mismo. En primer lugar, porque yo soy más alta que todos ustedes, pero tienes menos edad. Okay, I'm going to pause it there. Can everyone still hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so one thing I pointed out is you can change the subtitle. So at any point you think, oh, I just want Spanish or I just want English. And then also this color coding, excuse me, that I think what's that that's doing is pointing out the verbs and the nouns um, so you understand the structure of the sentence. Awesome. Uh, okay, and then, uh, so the next thing would be the follow-up. Oh, and this will pop up for you. So if you forget some of the things I'm saying, it will automatically take you on this tour. And these little pop-ups will explain what each one is. Okay, what we have here is anything with a globe is, I believe, a cultural note. And so it's gonna take you through talking about how, um, any cultural references in there. And you can click through them. There you go. Um, and then this is, I believe, grammar. Yeah, a grammar note. Um, more grammar. And then these are just different phrases they're saying. And when you click on them, they'll play the, they'll play, um, mm. the scene quickly. Somebody did a lot of work. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Este juego se acabó. Um, yeah, so I mean, you could really spend hours watching just one film, but it shows you how intricate it is. And then uh, there's the option to watch the scene again. And then once you do that, you end the scene. Uh, and then, um, and also there's, if you look down here, you always have the option to switch to movie mode. So maybe you pick a film and you do this for the first, say, two scenes, three scenes, and then you have a gist of what's happening and you switch to movie mode and you just enjoy the rest of the film. Wow. Oh, wow. So any questions on that? Great. Yeah. And then to get out of this. Janet? Yes. Um, can you just talk about the um, the ratings, the, the number that kind of describes what kind of film it is? Oh, yes, of course. So up top here, that's just a parental guide. So they recommend this film for eight and older. And then when we went uh, back in the beginning, when you're choosing a film, there were some that were 13 and older. So you're just mindful of who um, who the film is appropriate for. And then we well, on this was cool. Let's click on that. Okay. Um, yeah, so it tracks what you're going to like kind of stats on what you're going to learn. Um, and I guess you can keep track of this. Wow. Uh, so you're going to learn 20, 2,106 vocabulary words, 64 cultural references and notes, 211 grammar lessons, and 867 phrases. Mm. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Wow. I think I'm going to click out of <clears throat> this. There we go. And yeah, they have quite a few. I just looked at the Spanish ones. There were French ones. I mean, I don't know if they have them for all um, languages, but they have quite a few. Uh, and I think I've covered everything I've discovered in here so far. Like I said, I've only kind of been working through this the last few days. 
but uh, but yeah, there's a lot of potential in this. Awesome. Thank you Thank so you. much. That yeah. was really interesting. <laughs> Very okay. cool. I'm going to stop the screen share so I can see everyone's face again. And hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks so much for um, joining us this morning.